All right, so we have got a classic here. This is the Poison Pinto, and this is not the red line version. I'm almost 1,000% sure. Uh, it's got a plastic base and uh, definitely through and through wheels that look like they're black walls. So it's it's seen better days. Uh, it's missing part of its engine. That's going to be a, a mess. I can't tell what its original color was. These were a multitude of, well, several different colors that came in. I think I'll probably end up making it green, which is the one I think of. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a fun restoration. A lot of work. I'm in a new workspace. I don't know if you can tell or not. It's much larger for me to get stuff done. So I'm going to be working on the lighting and the audio. So uh, you may see that some changes in this video as I experiment. But anyway, let's get to work on this guy. So that's one of the many reasons I don't like plastic bases. I totally damage that base with the drill bit. It's disappointing. Here it is. That chrome's been painted on by someone, probably a kid. Uh, okay, I'll have to try and fix that. Wheels are in pretty bad shape. The problem with these wheels is that they're black walls and finding replacements is oof, virtually impossible anymore. At least I don't know of a source. I may try and manufacture some new ones. That might be my only choice. <clears throat> this is going to need a lot of, of making of parts, I have a feeling. Ooh, this plastic feels super brittle. I do not like that. <clears throat> this is making me nervous. I feel like I'm going to break it. Is it painted in? Yeah, that's the problem. There we go. Nope. Just damaged it some more. Man, this plastic is terrible. I finally got it out, but I broke that piece in the process. This is way, way worse than I expected. So I'm not sure if it's the corrosion in here that was causing the plastic to stick or if it was the paint. That's something else that's going to need to be fixed. Man, this project is getting more and more difficult. This is a horrendous base. Terribly corroded. It looks like it might have originally been red. Maybe chrome? Hmm, it's hard to tell. There's so much rust in it. That's rust from the axles, I think. No, that's paint. That's paint right there. But that's serious corrosion in there. Wow. This is a bad shape. And this plastic. Please, let's not break this. Oh, man, even this is stuck in there. Okay. So the saving grace is that the windshield is not broken. It's in terrible shape, but I think we can we can salvage it. I thought this engine would be a separate part, but it's not. It looks to be all one piece. Oh, and it is bad. It looks like it was chrome on the inside here too. Hmm. Okay. Well, well, let's get the paint off of this, and while that's working, I will go to my 3D printer, well, my computer, and try and 3D print a new engine top, and then I'll have to figure out how to do that. This probably won't be as hard as it looks to fix, but this is super brittle. Put that in there. The rest of the parts are plastic. So before I do anything, I'm going to put these in the uh, ultrasonic cleaner just to see what it can do. Because man, these plastic pieces are really bad. So the first good news of the day is that the body is actually in, in really good shape. Very little work is going to be done, need to be done on the body don't know how that happened. What I thought was corrosion under the back wasn't corrosion. It was some other white powdery stuff. Uh, but whatever, I am going to take it um, as a blessing. Now the plastic parts are another story. 
Uh, I got all the dirt off. There's some paint. There's like multiple layers of paint on here that I'm just going to have to scrape off. I'll figure that out. That shouldn't be too hard. We got this paint that needs to come off too. It's really hard to get paint off of plastic without hurting the plastic. And this is just a disaster. There's paint on the windshield. That'll have to be sanded off. So I got lots of sanding here to do. I'm going to have to sand this flush. I am printing right now a new top to this motor. Um, but this needs to be, this is not a good place to mount it, so I'm going to have to work on that. I'm just going to use a piece of plastic to fix that. But uh, let's get to work with a sanding stick and just see what happens. So before we get too far, I need to fix this brake. Pretty jagged. I'm going to use is I'm just going to use a little piece of plastic, cut it to be just perfect in there. But first, I need to square off these this break here. Well, I'm going to have to do this off camera because I cannot see, and this is kind of fiddly. Okay, that's pretty squared away. All that really matters is this front edge because you're not going to see this back at all, and it's going to get painted. All right, so I will trim this off after the glue dries. I'm just creating it long. just makes it a whole lot easier for me to grab onto and position it. I could have cut just a little piece just perfectly, but then I would have had to use tweez tweezers, and it's, it's just a pain. So I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to uh, sand too much off this base, and there's still just paint everywhere on it. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just end up painting this black, and that'll cover up all these and make it so I don't have to worry about over sanding. Whew, I need to get to work. I've been sick, so I've taken a few days off. This video is going to get out late. But I did finish with this engine that I 3D printed. And let me see if I can zoom in there. Yeah. I don't have one to compare it to. I just have pictures. But the fit's good. I think once I glue that in, that'll look probably not perfectly like the original, but pretty good. Definitely better than a hole. <laughs> Uh, the front ended up looking pretty good. So I think the next step is I'm going to paint these two pieces, glue the engine onto this guy, and paint it. And when you see this back, it should all be, be painted. I'll explain what I did. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to have to experiment. Okay, so this was a bit of an emotional roller coaster. These were the black walls I came up, and they're not perfect. They're, not, they're missing the rim on the outside. I still need to do some work on my modeling. I mean, they look nice, but they're they're not going to work for this because it's not exactly. Uh, so I was trying to clean up the originals and rechrome them. Then I noticed that little red right there. I noticed several of these had little red little pieces of that one doesn't. Let's see which one was the other one I saw. That one doesn't. Yeah, there we go. You see, it's pretty clear. So I thought, what that looks like a red line. So I found this picture online. And uh, the poison pinto in the color that I'm doing was actually a red line. So I think this was a red line after all. It's not a black wall. So that's cool. But that also means that I can use these reproduction red line wheels. So that's what I'm going to do. That saves me so much time and effort. So we're about ready to put this guy together. Oh, that makes me so nervous. I hate decals. Alright, that looks really good. So I think that I forgot to tell you what my painting plan was. So I used this uh, competition green from the Red Line shop over top of some uh, um, Style Res white primer. For the body, I used the Red Line shop base coat, silver looks pretty good. I used uh, Createx Black for the base and then over top of the decals I used my tester spray lacquer. So lots of little products there but I think the result looks pretty good. I think we're ready to put this together. Boy it's about time. I've been sick for the last week and a half and it is hard to do these projects when you are sick. Alright, let's see. First we need the glass. Brr 
Boom. All right, so here we have the Poison Pinto. Looks pretty good. I know it's not perfect. The engine's not quite perfect. Lots of things aren't quite perfect. But man, it looks a whole lot better. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. It took a little bit longer for me to get out than they normally do, but sometimes weeks just work that way. Uh, I hope you have a uh, good rest of your day. Uh, oh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> if you remember, this is the before. <laughs> and now we have the after. And now I wish you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye. Boom. <laughs>